Friedman was a master at making trade simple and revealing the flaws in and immorality of protectionism. Free traders need to get back to this and to talk about trade not as some zero-sum competition between countries, but as voluntary, mutually beneficial cooperation among free individuals. To explain how quotas and tariffs and other barriers to trade are nothing more than government intervention in our daily lives. Intervention that doesn't arrive naturally or by accident, but through lobbying and cronyism. Protectionism results from this intense lobbying by well-connected groups who want to block competition and force us American consumers to subsidize through higher prices and taxes on imports their businesses. Free trade and most aspects of free trade agreements, by contrast, seeks to remove government from the picture to let Americans transact with whomever they want, however they want, whenever they want. Even worse, these hidden taxes caused by protectionism disproportionately hurt poor consumers who must pay more of their daily budgets for necessities like food and clothing. Americans, especially conservatives and libertarians, seem to get these moral points in most areas of policy, but they forget about them in trade. We recoil at the thought of putting health and human service health and human services between us and our doctors, but openly lobby to put the Department of Commerce between us and our merchants. We oppose subsidies to Solyndra or giant agricultural corporations, but celebrate when protectionists su succeed in getting the federal government to force poor American consumers to subsidize giant steel and textile corporations. This divergence really needs to change. Protectionists must no longer be given free reign to set the terms of the debate, to claim to speak for the little guy, and to mislead with impunity. If they want to fight, free traders should give them one.